Big game up ahead. We've got the green peach on deck for McLeod. And I think... Have we done hand warmers already? Alright, this looks like some, some hand warmers if I ever saw one. Wait, are we just starting or what's going on here, guys? Alright, I think they're doing a 30 second warm up real quick. By the way, everyone, thank you to all who have joined us this afternoon. If you haven't already followed the stream, please do. And also follow our social medias. So check me out on Twitter. Always tweet out when we go live. You can check out Sap Couch Warriors SA on Twitter for our events. And also, you can check out our VODs all on these socials. You got them on SA Smash TV on YouTube. Check those out because that's where all of these tournament sets will be cut up and uploaded. You can search by by character and player name on the SA Smash TV archive. Try to keep it up to date as possible. And if you want to support, it's September, so you got 20%. Yeah, you're good. Um, so it's September, everyone. So if you want to support the channel, now's the best time to do it because it's a 20 or 30% 30, 30 off your first sub. So if you want to, if you want to show me some love, spread it around as well. Smash that subscribe button for all the homies in chat. I gotta work on some animated emotes though. I don't have Josh Man lose control, which is like the the easiest like business move or like the best business move Josh Man has made. It's yoinking and twisting. The rainbow Donny is also really good. The rainbow. Oh, sorry, just the rave. It's not even done. It just looks like it. Oh, that's not gonna kill, fam. Not even gonna kill. <laughs> there you go. Spam those in chat. All right, musket already on the back foot though. Oh, good pressure and good movement. He's moving and grooving today. Oh my god, just the power shields. Musket can't kill this peach. He's gonna look for an up air now. Oh no, he gets caught on the top platform, but this might be it. There you go. Still looking relatively healthy though. Oh, wave dashes into the down smash. Oh wow, he's really just picking it up with these shines though. Nice, off stage. Oh, misses the ledge refresh. It would have been perfect if he was involved in the entire time, but he wasn't. He's gonna have to work a bit harder now. My famous when Fox back airs. Me too. This is definitely me. Not gonna lie, this is definitely me when a Fox back airs me. And dash attack to up smash. Sorry, up air is gonna actually take it. This is best of five in winner's semis. Where are you guys? Let's see. Nah, not yet. It's the next round over. It's just a best. Of, it's a first of two. So Catherine and Black Shadow are playing off stream in the round before losers quarters, which means it's a best of three, not a best of five. Musket playing really well though. Honest, honest to God, he's playing quite well. My face when I smile. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is definitely me when I am smiling. A lot of weaving in and out by muskets just kind of brought the set back for him. And be prepared for a five game set, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, because these guys will be fighting to the end tonight. Dash attack up air again, not gonna kill, but very close now. Next one will do it. Oh! The down smash actually clanks and beats out the jab from Musket. 
couple pummels into a forward throw. Mus uh, McLeod's not going to finish it off just yet. Needs one more read on this edge guard. Oh, Musket doing a really big risk there, but it's fine. Nice. Almost dead. One more like aerial should really be the end of uh, Peach's stock here, but McLeod's holding on, and he needs to—he's going to be prioritizing uh, power shields at this point in the, in the game. We're entering really late stage for him. Oh, he just manages to float all the way back down, but musket ready immediately after. 1 0 for the musket nation. McLeod taking some time to think. And we're going to final destination for game two. Yeah, Musket looking good now. He was looking rocky to begin with, but now he's got a new fire lit up his ass. Oh, he catches him with the forward air. He caught the jump, but he couldn't finish it off. It was close. Oh, you just do soft nair out of shield and get an up smash? That's crazy. Musket with a stock lead now. Yeah, right. I was thinking the same thing, Goody. I'm like, damn, he really just got to do a soft nair and I'll smash him afterwards. Just yoink that. Clip it, yoink it, twist it, bop it, pull it, mix it. Well, Musket's doing a really good job at, like, uh, being just outside of the peach range while, <coughs> while like, approaching, um, like, on every second beat kind of thing. Big Dong Donkey, thank you for following. Welcome to South Australia. We're running the Cheese League, our monthly tournament. You can tune into this stream on the third Sunday of every month for some local Adelaide Smash Melee action. And all the VODs will be on SA Smash TV on YouTube, so check those out when those go live as well. But back to the match. Musket's going to die. He's not even going to let McLeod finish him off. Oh, we got a wave shine from Musket. He was going for the infinite. He's just spamming the down B button. Hoping for the best, hoping he doesn't get down smashed. That would be unfortunate if it did. Yes, yes, yes. That is that is correct, Big Dog Donkey. I have been streaming some Third Strike at home. I've also streamed some Third Strike tournaments from Adelaide as well. If you type in the Cheese League into YouTube, you'll, you'll find all the content from South Australia. We're doing a big. We're going worldwide this year. Yeah, there hasn't been a, a real, like, chain grab here from McLeod. This is um kind of, like, slipping out of his hands now. This could be Musket's... This is... Yeah, this is McLeod's game to lose right now. Oh, he has a regular get-up. Oh, that's going to do it. Damn. We really have a 2-0 for Musket right now. Both players taking some time to rehydrate themselves before the match ahead. Yeah, Musket's neutral is looking nice. Where are we going for this third and potentially final game in the set? We're going to obviously get a FD run back. It's up to McLeod to make something happen. He's got to get some goddamn chain grabs. But Musket's neutral is just looking too strong and it's making it hard for McLeod to approach with a grab. He just hasn't found anything. He's catching him like moving forward a lot and where um, McLeod normally I feel would actually you know, like, be able to power shield some of these, like, approaches, but, like, it's not kind of happening for him tonight. A musket dub mo is, uh, well and truly on the cards tonight, fellas. Just you wait. There we go, we have a chain grab, but he drops it. That was the one chance he had. Now it's slipping away. Musket regaining stage control. Uh-oh, a bit of flubs from Musket though. There you go, he gets the run in shine. He's got a bit 
big 45%, and M McLeod's off stage, and he picks up a stock, and Musket's two stocks up. This is a ridiculous play from Musket, actually. This is absolutely ridiculous. Musket is crazy. He's literally going to 3 0 McLeod and win his semis. Can we get a 4 porch? Definitely not. It's a bit hard on FD, I'll be honest, against Peach. But he's just racking up so much damage so quick. And McLeod just hasn't been on point with his defense this set, I guess. He's just looking a little bit slow and he's not hitting as hard as he normally would. And, like, that is all it takes to really lose games like these. And that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-0 to Musket. That's a big win, actually. That was crazy. Musket's playing really well tonight. That's insane. All right, so in winner's finals, we have SA Nick and Musket now, and that means in quarters, we'll probably have some uh, losers' quarters matches on stream now. Um, so let's report a 3-0 to Musket.